Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Hernando and I do hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. Now today's video, we got something very, you know, kind of creepy actually to talk about. And that has to do with something I myself didn't know about since recently. Now, did you guys know that Michael used to own a dog? Yeah, it's nuts, man. I never knew this myself. Now, there's so many freaking crazy things and kind of creepy stuff about this that I want to go ahead and showcase today's video. I know for sure by the end of today's, uh clips that I got lined up for you. You guys are going to be kind of weirded out about it. So before we go ahead and get things started today, I was just wondering if you people can be ever so nice to support the video with that blue thumbs up. It'll be ever so much appreciated. And as well, it just takes about, you know, a quick second or two out your day. So if you guys can try to get this video to over 69 blue thumbs up, man, then I would appreciate it. And you'll be qualified for the true MVP, man. I, I love you guys for it. And as well, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I would hate it if you missed out any of my brand new videos. But with that being said, Let's go on ahead and get things started today. So it looks like Franklin isn't the only person who has a dog because it looks like Michael owned one at some point before the story mode even was a thing. Now we're going to go ahead and travel all the way towards Michael's house because there is so many freaking cool things within this place. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know that you can actually blow up his house. There's like secret doors and hidden rooms and all that type of stuff. But now we're going to be focusing over towards these pictures. You can find these things lying around on the tables and desk around the area of Michael's house. But of course, if you guys actually pay attention to them, they actually tell you that Michael used to be a cool, friendly guy back in the day. He used to be very family-like and he has pictures of his family, his parents, and also he has some of his kids. Now, one of them actually is something very interesting. Now, if you guys travel to this table specifically, you guys will notice that Michael has a picture of a dog. And it's kind of weird because why does this guy have a picture of a dog randomly placed on this desk right here? Now, it's only as if Michael used to own a pet himself. Now, the question is, what happened to Michael's pet? I mean, why does Michael have this picture right here? You know, it's kind of weird actually. Now, the only indication is that Michael used to own a dog himself. I highly doubt that Michael will have a picture of a random dog for no reason. So that's why I'm under the assumption that this dog used to be his. Now, if you guys go on ahead and travel towards the internet on the cell phone and go towards this website right here that I'm pretty sure the vast majority of you guys stumbled upon at some point, then you will notice that eventually if you guys click on want to play God, you will see this image right here. So as we can see, there is a family and there's also a dog right there. Now I know what you're saying, Fernando, don't go ahead and tell me that that dog right there is Michael's pet because I'm pretty sure it's very unlikely. Now I do have to say that it's kind of funny that you guys say that because if we paid attention to the earlier pictures that I showcased, one of the images was another family that Michael was just there chilling with. As you can see, there's Michael, Amanda, and a man and a woman. Now, the man and a woman right there is the same family that we saw right here on this website. So, my guess here is that Michael at some point donated the dog over to this family and then he didn't want it no more for some reason. I'm not too sure because if you guys want to go ahead and know exactly what happened to the dog next, well, if you click this button, basically the whole family is, uh, dead now since the DeSantos family was close friends with this you know family right here I guess this contributed over towards Michael's insanity you know how Michael is kind of uh you know fucked up in the head since he does so much crime and killing that you know maybe the death of the people that actually was close towards him kind of messed up his head a little bit which makes him the character that he is now in GTA 5 but as you guys saw from that image right there, everyone in that family, including Michael's old dog that he used to have, is now completely dead. And you will think that's the end of that. But no, that's not the case because the dog actually makes a return into the game itself. Now I do want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to Davey Dustin for providing me the clips in today's video. He is absolutely awesome. Make sure you guys check out his channel. His link will be down below. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me.
I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he'd missed a tree. But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. Man, you wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Hey, bro! <laughs> You mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool-ass dog you got, homie. What dog? That dog that saved your... saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> when you got a moment. Here My you. bad, dog. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh, man, that was wild. So from the beginning of the encounter with the dog, we learned that Franklin can understand the dog's barking. I mean, this is nothing new actually, as Franklin is known to be able to communicate with animals, mostly dogs, as we can see him do that countless times with Chop. It does say in the GTA wiki that Franklin has some type of affiliation with animals giving him the abilities to understand them. So moving on, the dog then leads Franklin to Dom who is stuck in a tree and requires help. Now after finding Dom, Franklin starts acknowledging that the dog is smart and praises Dom for having such a cool dog. However, Dom then reveals to Franklin that he has no dog and that he hasn't seen any dog whatsoever. So then after that, you know, Franklin is kind of startled and he starts looking around to see if the dog is there, but actually the dog disappeared and he was the only one able to see it. So this basically means that the dog didn't really exist. It was actually a ghost dog. And it's kind of funny because as you guys saw from the earlier image of where the dog actually died at, it was around the hills or mountainside of GTA 5. So I guess the spirit of the dog wanders around the mountainside of GTA 5 trying to help people who do get in trouble or stuck in trees like Dom. Now the second and last time that Franklin actually encounters the dog is in this mission right here. Hey, what's up, my nigga? Good to see you, dawg. That asshole is about to kill himself. Which asshole? Oh, that perfect investor guy. Shit, whatever. You're obligated to tell me. You really don't give a shit, but you were just made this way? He's this way? But you have to get cast in a movie role more suitable to your talents? Oh shit, all right, dawg. I'll holler at you, my nigga. Hey, Don, what the hell you about to do, man? Nothing. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> like last time, huh? Yeah. If I don't hit your vagina on the way down... <sighs> hey, man, I ain't too sure about this one. Man, that motherfucking dog was the real deal. What dog?! <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, man. Well, it's your call. <gasps> Dumb idiot. So here we have Franklin introduced with Michael's dog once again and it kind of makes sense for him to meet him because you do know that Franklin has the power to talk to animals and since he can understand dogs it will make more sense for him to meet him instead of you know Michael. But anywho right here it does state that you know the dog doesn't really give a fuck that you know Dom is gonna die. But the dog feels obligated to because it's in his nature. Meaning since the dog died many years ago by an accident it's in his nature because that's the reason why he's still existing on earth. 
That's why he's not, you know, going to go ahead and rest in peace because he needs to go and try to help people who are in danger. So then he goes ahead and contacts people or things around the area to try to help the person who's in need of some assistance. So as of right now, Michael's dog is dead. Franklin is the only person who can see him and talk to him since he's a ghost and the dog as of right now patrols the hills and mountainside of GTA 5 to try to go ahead and rescue people who are in need of some assistance. Make sure that you guys leave your comments down below on what you guys think about this whole situation or if you have any more info that you want to add on to this, make sure you leave it down below in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and read them to see what we can try to do about this whole mystery dog event. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a blue thumbs up if you guys like the video and as well subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand spanking new. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out and stay frosty.